I, I almost enjoy your uh, variations more than I like the normal uh, version because they sound so sad uh, mostly. <laughs> Just well, um, very emotional, uh, and uh, I really like that. I I think you know M- Miko and I have been talking a lot, and and um, I know he's written a lot of music already, but there is still a lot of. Um, options in the future for new music and uh and so so we'll see you, you, i think there may be some influence on on what happens you know and and more things will have, you know the collaboration will continue i think as the game progresses once we know more of what the game will actually need if that makes sense yeah Miko yeah. was like you want another sub competition uh composition you don't have to pay <laughs> Yeah, well, that's, uh... <laughs> so, uh, should I should I answer one more question from the chat? Yeah, let's do that. I guess uh, Connor underscore 36 asks, um, what software you use to make your music? Right, so, um, typically when I'm writing music, I'll, I'll sketch by hand, and then uh, I, I'll do most of my uh, orchestration stuff in Digital Performer, um, and then... I, I will use uh, Pro Tools for a lot of audio editing. I use Finale for my notation projects, and then I use sample libraries from people like um, East West, uh, um, the Vienna Symphonic Library. Audio Bro is a thing called um, LA Scoring Strings, uh, Ivory which is a piano plug-in, things like that. Um, mm. That's the majority of the, the software I use. Yeah, it's a lot of programs I have never even heard the name of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most people haven't. It's a pretty esoteric world that I live in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you actually write your music by hand in the beginning? I like to sketch by hand. I like to write ideas by hand. Um, there, there's a few reasons for that. One is that it's very fast, but then I also, um, um, I, 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 you know, I can write it down, but I can also see it without feeling like it's committed to, to something, and, and, and then I can kind of play with it. It's also really nice to me, because I've spent so much time arranging on paper to to actually look at the music to see what it looks like gives me a very strong impression of what it will sound like when I when I actually give it to players or to when I um, will record it in myself if I'm playing everything myself. Yeah, so I guess it's kind of like how most uh, artists do a sketch before they do like a final version. Yeah, that's a good that's a good analogy. Yeah, so actually we we will have to take. Just one final, final question here from the <laughs> chat because Wolfver has been asking like four times this question. So let's. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So he asks: Will races have specific music to theme uh, to theme a race? Like cats more flutish and the dogs more bombastic. So will races have uh, you know? Will different races have different music uh, styles? I suppose. I um. I've 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 thought about this and and it's something I've talked to David about a little bit. We haven't decided on any particular instrumentation for any any given um race. I guess we're calling them races. Uh but I certainly have thought about that myself and and some of the music that that we've talked about me really working on is is the actual music that happens in game um meaning like if you see a musician a, a musician on the street what is he playing and i may do something like that so i've i've personally kind of started thinking about them in 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 terms of complicated music so um you know since since the the dogs for example don't really want um really advanced machinery they would have simple music like uh percussion based music or or singing type music or something like that um i think the flutes have sort of been dubbed the the rabbit uh sound just by by default yeah. since it's been used so much um whereas i think uh the more sophisticated in, uh race being the 
the cats would have um, something like stringed instruments um, because they, you know, it, it's a higher level of sophistication. It takes more practice. They're they're more difficult to to um, yeah, to use to use yeah to, to play. Yeah. So. Yeah. So that's that's my idea. Uh, we still have to see how much of a role music is going to be in the culture of each of each race. I, I do think that there is room for it, and I think that it's something that we're um, discussing. But it will be something that probably occurs closer to when uh, we we start hearing about the the plot, you know, the actual story of the game, which um, I know zero about. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that would be something that may happen in the future, and we'll see. Yeah, hopefully, uh, personally, I would appreciate having different themes for different races, and I suppose it's kind of no-brainer almost. I mean, that's the default way to do it, I suppose. That's how most games do it, have different themes for different you know, races, and since they have different architecture and all that kind of stuff as well, it kind of makes sense to me. Yeah, it makes sense to me too. So um, I actually have this really cool idea I've been meaning to get down as a as a dog funeral procession which i think would be kind of a cool um yeah. game you know in-game element to see so yeah and a good opportunity to play some awesome music as well <laughs> exactly so so yeah so thanks a lot for this interview it was very insightful and very interesting i hope you you guys in the you the audience liked it as well <laughs> So, thanks for that. But you will actually be staying with us uh, until the end of the show, right? Absolutely. Awesome. I'll still be here. Awesome. So, let us move on to the uh, next part here. And the next part on the uh, agenda is a custom platforming level. And that is actually a level made by me, um, believe it or not. I am a mapper uh, at heart, so I made a little platforming level for Overgrowth. And... Uh, I'm basically going to play through it here for you guys. And uh, yeah, I guess it's kind of a little teaser or something. I hope you enjoy. I made a video for this level as well um, on the on the YouTubes on uh, youtube.com slash OG Weekly. You can see that. And I kind of made this level for myself, because it's very, very, very hard. Even I think it's very hard, and I'm probably going to skip a part if I fail it, just to <laughs> not. <laughs> oh, I hate this oh, part. Damn. Yeah, this part is like the hardest part on the entire level, which is kind of bad. As I said, I just made it for myself, I just made what I felt like. I tried to come up with some kind of hard platforming thing, because it's kind of hard to make hard stuff, because it's so easy to do uh, stuff in this uh, game. But what you're supposed to do here is drop down, and down here you're supposed to do a wall jump, and then jump up and grab this ledge and get up here. So let's just pretend I did that. And then there's kind of a w infinite wall jump up here. Let's hope I don't fall down. And uh, by the way, this level is downloadable on the forums. So if you're interested, you can download the map and try it out for yourself, test your platforming skills. And I would very much like to try other people's maps as well. Because platforming is the main part of Overgoth right now. It's the only gameplay aspect there is right now. Basically. So it would be cool to see some more of that. When I did this, I actually I just tried to be... Try to come up with new ideas, you could say, to do stuff with the uh, game that hadn't been done, I suppose. And uh, that's why there are a few weird stuff, a few weird things, like the... Oh, that's a nice bug there. <laughs> um, yeah, like this obstacle right here. Since there aren't really any rules for how to make platforming stuff in Orgoth yet, I just had to come up with my own stuff. So that's kind of exciting, actually, when dealing with level design, not having set restrictions for yourself. Where I just got to the bit where you did that 
run around the two off the two walls thing. Yeah, the corner wall jump thingy. Yeah, you're making this pretty difficult. I'm not gonna play this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as I said, I made it for myself. I didn't really th expect to make uh, even this part that I'm on right now at all. I just wanted to make that 2D kind of part down there. Um, but it kind of went out of control. And since I didn't think about gameplay really, I just made it, oh, oh I should come up with a, this. I should make like some kind of hard thing to do here. So I didn't really have new players in mind. I just made it for myself. And I think that I am probably the... the I'm not, I don't want to sound cocky or anything, but I think that I'm probably the best platformer for this game right now. So there are probably not a lot of people <laughs> who can <laughs> who can finish this level other than me. And I didn't, I actually cheated this time, but anyways. So here I am at the top of the mountain and I'm just about to enter the trophy room where our prize will be located. And our prize is in the shape of a pink beard, of course. Yay. <laughs> all hail the beard. Yes, all hail the beard. It's kind of important to worship the beard, actually. I need to say that. I love the pillow in front of the beard. It, it just makes it perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's meant to be worshipped. <laughs> it's like a test you need to go through, and if you, if you, uh, if you manage to get past the test, then you, you are worthy of the beard. <laughs> so that's that. Um, a level for Overgrowth, platforming levels. If you want to have your level on this show, I would be very pleased to show your level if you've made one like um, this one or anything else basically just show it on the stream so yeah i really want to keep up with what the community is doing and all that kind of cool stuff so if you have any 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 level you've made or if yeah just give it to me send it to me i mean they will fire irc when i am available or you can send an email to uh, uh, gmail, no wait, ogweekly at gmail.com. Send an email there with your level and I will try it out and uh, show it in the next uh, Overgrowth Weekly. As long as it's not uh, total crap, <laughs> of course. So no giant golden penises or anything like that, please. Oh, man. <laughs> And uh, I want to take a look at the uh, art asset, or not the art asset, the fan art thread, because I really like to remember that there were a few uh, uh, posts here since last week's alpha. I don't know if this one is new, it's probably is. It's made by 31st January, let's see. Yeah, that one's new. By Gryos, it's kind of a black and white image of uh, a cat. It looks like a cat town, I suppose. It kind of drapes and stuff. Looks kind of cool. Let's see, was there anything more or was that it? Uh, uh, <coughs> look at your middle tab. What did you say? Look at your middle tab. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll... Oh, are you saving that? Yeah, I'll, after, I'll take that right. right after this. Sorry, I'm out of sync. Yeah, th thanks for reminding me though. And uh, here is actually an awesome picture of the whale man. Oops, a lot of advertisement stuff here. Very, I hate this page right now. Should have downloaded this page before. Oh, there we go. So as you can see, it's the whale man, and he's wearing a kilt, and uh, he's having the um, I don't know what that's called in English. He's playing the bagpipes. Bagpipe, right? Bagpipes, even. Thanks for that. Um. So yeah, an, a very awesome picture of the whale man, and he's very overgrowth themed and with a kilt, uh, referring to John, uh, just as my pink beard. One can really sense that the overgrowth community is strong and very proud of itself. So I really like that. Yeah, it's very nicely done. Cool shading. Yeah. I would like to see this um, in color, actually. That would be cool. Even though... <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think it would be like, uh, as strong. I, I think, it, yeah, as you said, it would probably not be as strong because it's kind of sad. <laughs> yeah. You can obviously see. And, uh, Unless it's like a bl like just a monotone blue kind of color. Yeah. 
Well, anyways, it's a very, very awesome picture, and it's made by Will Green on the uh, Will Fire forums. So, very awesome stuff from you guys. I will keep coming back to this thread, so if you want your um, 